Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Michaela. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, first off, we need to do a little quick talk and we need to make it quick because your girl is sweating like crazy. So, I need to apologize for my lack of uploads recently. The reasoning for that is because of the same reason of why I'm sweating right now. My AC in my house has been broken for the past two weeks. It is currently, as I'm filming this, it is 93 degrees in my house. In my house. It is hotter inside my house than it is outside right now. I tried filming the other day and my ring lights almost made me pass out. It was so terribly bad. And you could literally see in the video the sweat dripping down my skin. You guys can probably see it right now. Anyways, I was just sitting down and I was like, okay, I need to get a video up for you guys. What video can I do where I don't really have to be in front of the camera? And I was like, you know what? Y'all have been asking me for months, months, ever since I first started my channel. Can I do a Bath and Body Works collection? So I kept putting back this video because in my mind, I keep thinking that you guys may have this like false impression that I have this huge Bath and Body Works collection like a lot of YouTubers do. And personally, I don't. Like I don't have the huge massive bookshelves full of them. To me, it is big just because I always grew up only having like one body spray and one lotion. So to me, this is a big collection, but I understand compared to most of my fellow YouTubers, it really isn't. But I am moving soon, so I was like, laying out my products and I was like you know what I'm laying out all my products to move anyways why don't I just show you guys my collection and so that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today I'm not gonna be sharing with you guys like my candles or my wall plugs or my hand soaps I just think it would make the video too incredibly long in this video it is going to be body care so it's gonna be like my lotions and my mist and my body washes scrubs all that stuff but yeah with that being said I do hope you guys oh and also I forgot to say if you are a loyal subscriber watching this video I did get a haircut so if you're wondering, but um, yeah, with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoy seeing my Bath and Body Works collection and let's hop straight on into it. Okay, so this is an overview of my body mist. I color coordinated it so it follows like the colors of the rainbow and then down here I just have my minis. So we're going to start off with the reds. The very first scent I have here is You're the One. Funny enough, I actually used to not like You're the One when I first got it. Now it's one of my all-time favorite scents. The second one I have here is Velvet Sugar. Velvet Sugar used to be my signature scent in high school. Every single day in high school, I wore Velvet Sugar with Pink Sugar by Alkalina. Then we have Forever Red. That one literally smells like Swedish Fish. I have Sugar Cherry Crisp. Winter Candy Apple. Funny enough, Winter Candy Apple is one of my all-time most complimented scents. Then I have four Raspberry Jam Donuts. I literally love Raspberry Jam Donut. If you are obsessed with very sweet gourmand scents, you have to find this one. And next to it, I have three of the newer Strawberry Pound Cakes. This one is from the Spring 2021 collection, I believe. So next up, we're going to move on into the oranges. So the first one I have is Sparkling Peach Sangria. This one was from their, like, I don't know, beverage line that they had, like, last year, I believe. Next, I have one of my newest favorite scents. This one right here is Mango Mai Tai. Literally the best, most juiciest, sweetest mango scent you will ever find. 10 out of 10, I recommend picking that one up. Then I have Pear Berry. I only use this as a bathroom scent. It's perfect to spray in your bathroom. I have Agave Papaya Sunset, one of my all-time favorite summer scents. So now we're going to move on into the three yellows that I have. So the first one is Christmas Cookies. This is one of my all-time favorite winter scents. So, so good. It smells like fresh baked cookies. Then I have the infamous Confetti Cake Pop. Literally got this one on Mercari way back when. But yes, Confetti Cake Pop, honestly, a hidden gem in my collection. I love this scent. Next, I have Grapefruit Frosé. I love wearing this one. It's just super sour, super tangy. And now for my one and only green mist. This one is Ice Pear Margarita. Such an underrated scent. I wish I had the entire collection. It is so, so good. So the next scent that I have is at the beach. This one takes me back to summer 2020. I literally only wore at the beach. And then I have Frosted Coconut Snowball. I actually have never worn this before. It was a Christmas present. But yeah, hopefully I'll get some use out of this mist this Christmas season. And now we're going to move on into the purples. So the first one that I have is Berry Waffle Cone. Literally to die for. It is amazing. I heard so much Berry Waffle Cone slander. I didn't pick it up for months, but I'm so, so happy I finally got it. I got it for free with like a free rewards and it's like the best scent ever. I need backups of it. 
Next one I have is Be Enchanted. Funny enough, Be Enchanted kind of reminds me of Dark Kiss. Um, and they're right next to each other. They kind of have the same vibe. This one's a little bit more on the floral, lighter side. This one's definitely heavier on the pomegranate. But they both do have that pomegranate note, which gives me the same vibe. So I got Be Enchanted and Dark Kiss. Whenever I think of Dark Kiss, I think of Shay's time here on YouTube. Um, next up, we have Chocolate Covered Cherry. I have two of them. I know a lot of people actually hate Chocolate Covered Cherry. They think it smells like really nasty. To me, it smells really good. The only thing is, is that I can't think of many occasions that I would wear it, but I do have a backup of it just in case because I heard it was gonna get discontinued. So the next scent that I have is Triple Berry Martini. It literally just smells like a bunch of bubbly berries. And then I have Boardwalk Taffy, which is just a nice, sweet, yet very salty saltwater taffy scent. And then I have A Thousand Wishes. I love A Thousand Wishes, yet I hate A Thousand Wishes. Love-hate relationship. I liked the red bottle a lot more. And then I have two Champagne Sprinkles. Honestly, I like this one better on a cold sniff than on my body, but it still is really good. I don't know. Just something about it is so unique. That's why I love having it in my collection. And then I have a winter berry wonder. I do like this one a lot. It's frosted winter berries. Really, really nice to have. Right next to it, I have a bonfire bash. I cannot wait to pull this one out in the fall time. It's just this very, very soft, musky cashmere vanilla. Super good. And then I have champagne toast. Signature scent for a lot of people. Rose water and ivy. Whenever I smell this, I'm taken back to my old apartment because this used to be my wallflower and the candle that I would burn religiously. I had like 20 wallflowers and 20 candles of just rose water and ivy. Next up, we have hibiscus guava fresca, also one of my favorite scents. And I love the packaging, I love the scents, I think they're really, really nice. Funny enough, I know sweet pea was a lot of people's signature scent growing up, I just got it a couple months ago. Um, and then I have two strawberry pound cakes. This one is from one of the more like OG lines. I personally like this one better than these two. These two are really, really good, but they do smell a little different. This one smells more of a strawberry yogurt, and these two smell more like strawberry whipped cream. Okay, so we finished the first two rows. Now we're going to go on into the whites. So first thing I have is coconut. Uh, literally, I hate coconut scents, but this one I can rock with. So I have the original coconut, then I have coconut pineapple. I have sunwashed citrus. I literally love sunwashed citrus in the home fragrances. It's the best bathroom scent ever. And then I have a raspberry tangerine. I'm obsessed with this. I'm so, so upset. I could not find any backups of it for SAS. I have to use this sparingly because I'm already like down to here. The next one I have is Beachfront Blanket. It's just a very, very clean linen dryer sheet scent. Then I have Magnolia Charm. It literally smells like a Tresemme hairspray. I have four coconut cream pies. And funny enough, as I didn't know I had four. I thought I had three. But when I was getting these scents ready for this video, I saw four of them. I'm like, home. Oh. Where did you come from? Next, I have Warm Vanilla Sugar. This is a classic scent that I always have in my collection, but honestly, like, I if you're going to buy one scent from Bath & Body Works, let it not be this one because this one does not last at all. And then finishing off these, like, brown colors, I have a Gingerbread Latte, which I like, actually. Even though it has a brown sugar note, I love bakery scents, but I hate brown sugar notes. This one I really like. I think the pear sweetens it up a little bit. And then I have Little Black Party Dress. It's a very peppery, dark scent. It has black peony, and so it's a floral, but it's kind of on the darker side, which is very unique. And then I have Into the Night, which is a deep pomegranate scent. Kind of reminds me of Dark Kiss in a way. And then I have my minis. I don't have a lot of minis just because I just feel like minis don't go on sale that much. The only time I'll ever pick up minis is when I get the coupons in the mail and I get like a free mini. That's the only time I'll ever do it. But other than that, usually these will go on sale for like $2 and then these ones will be on sale for like $3. So I never see the point in getting them. But like I said, I'll only get them if I can get them for free. So the very first one I have is Perfect Peony. I love, love this scent. One of my favorite floral scents. And then I have Ging which is a citrus and it's very very sour very acquired I've in the stars one of my signature scents from 2019 will forever repurchase in the stars feminine cologne um, then I have a little baby into the night I have a Dahlia Dahlia literally reminds me of the floral sister of into the night and then I have a warm vanilla sugar this one is in the older packaging these two do smell a little bit different but not extremely and then last but not least, I have Vanilla Bean Noel, which will always, always be in my collection. I love this scent so much. 
so yeah this is an overview of my little mist collection i love love all of them and i love seeing the mist laid out like this it's so satisfying okay y'all so this is my lotion collection it actually is significantly smaller than my body mist collection but that's because when I first started trying to collect Bath & Body Works products, I only bought body creams. And now I learned that body creams actually turn a lot quicker than lotions. So I've been trying to get lotions from now on. So we're going to start off up here. I have two more of these Strawberry Pound Cake lotions. This is from, once again, the Spring 2021 collection. I have two Raspberry Jam Donut lotions. I have Mango Mai Tai, Twinkling Nights. Twinkling Nights, unfortunately, I was not able to find in the mist. I was only able to find it in the lotion this is a really nice light floral it's very soft very feminine i really like this one i have confetti cake pop in the body lotion i have a grapefruit frosé and then i have whipped vanilla chiffon i'm actually not a fan of this scent to me this doesn't really smell like vanilla it just smells like peaches and florals but not like a good peach in my opinion <laughs> And then I have Berry Waffle Cone. I have Watermelon Lemonade. I love this one. It's super sour, very tart, uh, but then it has that hint of fruitiness from the watermelon. I have Strawberry Pound Cake again. This one is in the chalkboard collection. And then I have Strawberry Soda. I love this one. Unfortunately, I was not able to find it in the mist. It just smells like a very fizzy soda. It literally smells like strawberry syrup. And then I have Magnolia Charm again. I have Coconut Cream Pie. I have two of them. I got warm vanilla sugar and then I have a little black party dress. So this is my overview of all my lotions. And then here are my body creams. So once again, we're gonna start up here. I have You're the One, Velvet Sugar, Forever Red, Winter Candy Apple, Sparkling Peach Sangria, Christmas Cookies, Margarita Cupcake, which I'm actually not the biggest fan of. I wish this smelled more like a cupcake and less like an orange, like, flower. Next, I have Sun Wash Citrus. I have two Confetti Cake Pop body creams. And then I have Cool Still Hydrangeas. I love this in the body cream. I wish I was able to find the mist, but unfortunately, I couldn't find any, so I only have the cream. I have Frosted Wonderland. This is just, like, florals and spices and coconut and just a whole bunch of really unique things in there. And then I have Beachfront Blanket, Dark Kiss, Chocolate Covered Cherry, Champagne Sprinkles, Boardwalk Taffy, Raspberry Jam Donut, Strawberry Pound Cake. Then I have Bourbon Strawberry Vanilla. I actually really like this scent, but I got it off of, I think, Mercari or something like that. And it was actually bad. So never buy body creams or lotions off of Mercari unless you know that it just came out. And then I have Fiji Sunshine Guavatini. I have Champagne Toast and Rose Water and Ivy. Down here, I have A Thousand Wishes, Coconut Cream Pie, At the Beach, In the Stars, love this one, and Into the Night. Here are the body creams all laid out. And last but not least, I'm going to show y'all my body washes and body scrubs. So we have You're the One, Velvet Sugar, Strawberry Pound Cake, and actually when it comes to Strawberry Pound Cake, I actually do know I have, I think... Is it one? I think one more of this. I have one more strawberry pound cake. I just do not know where it is. It's the same exact bottle, the same exact scent. And then I have Sugar Cherry Crisp, Forever Red, Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. I love this one. I know they're coming out with the body care set again this year. So I'm definitely going to purchase the mist and the lotion. And then I have Vanilla Rainbow Sprinkles. This just reminds me of cake frosting and sprinkles. Literally, it smells like the rainbow sprinkles that you would get at like a Cold Stone. And then I have Sweater Weather. This one just smells like a very husky cologne. I have Endless Weekend. I actually don't like this scent when it comes to the regular body care, like the mist and the lotion, but I do like it in the shower gel. I think it smells really nice and fruity. And then I have Winter Berry Wonder. Once again, super fruity scents. And then going down here, I have three Raspberry Jam Donuts. I wish I had more of these. I literally just could only find three, but I would literally have 20 of them if I could. And then I have Strawberry Pound Cake again. This one is in the 2020 collection. And then I have Oahu Coconut Sunset. This one is kind of like Endless Weekend in that I like it in the shower gel, but I do not like it in the actual body care form. And then I have Rose Water and Ivy. I love this packaging. I think this is so, so cute. The pink on pink on pink with the roses in the back. I love this one. 
And then I have coconut cream pie, and I wish I had more of the shower gels. I was only able to find one, but I literally would pick up like five more if I could. So now these ones were all the regular shower gels, and now we're going to move on into the moisturizing body washes. I do have two of these strawberry pound cakes. Now, strawberry pound cake in the moisturizing body wash is my favorite. For some reason, in the moisturizing body wash, strawberry pound cake just smells 10 times sweeter literally is the sweetest cake you will ever smell it it hits different in the moisturizing body wash and then i have at the beach this one is literally on its last leg like i could probably use this like one more time and it's done and then i have in the stars also kind of getting down there can probably use this like two or three more times then i have pretty as a peach this is a beautiful beautiful scent to have in the shower it works so so well and then I have Into the Nights, of course, so, so good. And now, last but not least, we have my two body scrubs. This one is the Glowing Body Scrub in the scent Into the Night. And then this one is also the Sparkling Body Scrub in You're the One. And that was it for my entire Bath & Body Works body care collection. Okay, a little surprise. I'm going to show you guys my hand sanitizers. I wasn't going to show you guys these ones just because I'm not going to show you guys like my candle or my wall plugs or my concentrated room sprays. I just think this video would be way too long if I showed you all of them. But I don't have too many hand sanitizers, so I am going to show you guys these ones. So the first one I have is Pineapple Mango. This is the best candle from Bath & Body Works. I have Strawberry Kiwi. This one was my first time trying it. It literally smells like a soda. I have Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. I don't really like this one that much in a hand sanitizer. I kind of like fruity or very clean hand sanitizer scents. This one is very sweet and I usually like that for body care, but I do like this one and I really want to pick it up in the candle. I have Watermelon Lemonade. Literally, my favorite hand sanitizer scent is Watermelon Lemonade. I have Midsummer Dream. This one just smells super clean. I have Sunshine and Lemons. Literally just smells like a very sour lemon. Fresh Water and Aloe. I have Cactus Blossom. This one is a sweet floral. And then Into the Night and In the Stars. Okay, y'all, so that was it for today's video. I do hope you guys enjoy seeing my entire Bath & Body Works body care collection. Honestly, everything in this video is things that I love. I've hauled for you guys products in the past that you guys probably haven't seen in this video because I've probably returned them because I don't keep products that I don't like. And so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the products that I have, whether you thought this collection was really, really big or whether you thought my collection was really, really small. Either way, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. They will always be linked down below. And I can't wait to talk to you guys in the next video. I love you guys oh so much. And I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye.